Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're learning how to make a thumbnail in DaVinci Resolve. I've downloaded a clip from Videoblocks. I use them as a stock footage service. And here I'm looking through for the exact frame I might like to use as a thumbnail. Notice this actress, she'll look over here to the right, her left, bam, right there. That might be good. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. So what I'm going to do, I've put this on my timeline just out in a spare space, and I'm going to jump into the color page. Here, if I wanted to, I could provide any looks, effects, or colors, drop some LUTs on it, play with the color wheels, do whatever. But in this case, she's kind of washed down, but I think just one general move I want to make is to brighten that eye up. We need something eye-catching for this thumbnail. So to do that, I'll use a power window. Add it. I'll zoom that back out so I can grab it. <clears throat> there we go. Shrink it down. And I'm going to hit just my offset wheel and brighten that up a touch. So I've added the color effect that I'd like. I can either add text here in Resolve or I can add text in another editor. In this case, I'll add text in Resolve so you can see the full workflow here. I know her eye looks a little funky, but again, it's going to be a pretty small thumbnail. And maybe just being off just a touch, maybe that actually catches some people's attention. All right. Yeah, that's better. Eh, a little creepy. What I'm trying to do is leave room for the text. So let's see what I would do to add that text. I'm going to come back here and I'll add a title. Scroll up to the top, text plus node, and I can just stack it right on top. Now, many of you are going to say, hey, just use Photoshop. This is a lot of work. Well, a lot of people don't have Photoshop. Um, I use Affinity Designer, but this is a great way to use a free tool and have it available to you. My video that, I, that I'm making this for is add fonts to resolve. Nothing special. It's just that's what it is. Lower it down. I'm using the X and Y coordinates here. You can see that's fine-ish, but I want to get more pop to it. So maybe a brighter color, maybe a little bit of a background shadow. And so to do that, first thing I'll do, I'm just going to stack it on the timeline. Right click over here in the spare space and add a track. Now I've got a place to put it. I click the Alt key on the keyboard and click and drag on text. And now I've got two copies of it. Tab, there we go. Change the color of the font. I don't know what will make it something just different for the moment. There we go. And now if I move that off just a scotch, you can see I have a background there of a different font. Not bad. All I need now is to add, add a track, and I'm going to add the DaVinci Resolve logo. And so to do that, I come over here and import media, Go to my pictures, scroll down to where I keep the Resolve logo right there. And now I have the Resolve logo in here. I can drop it right on top. Notice how big it is. So I'm going to need to shrink that down. I can do that in the inspector for it. Just the zoom will work. There we go. Got to decide where it goes here on the video. And there you have it. So now that I've got what I like to make as my thumbnail, I come into the color page and in the viewer, I right click and choose grab still. I can open up my gallery and see it more directly there. I also, what I like about this, I have the ability to now slide the playhead forward and watch her face. So she's, when does she look off to the right? Let's see. There we go. I can grab still and get another still that I might use as the key frame. Might even work between the two of them to see which one works best. Now I right click in my gallery and choose export and I can export this as a DPX or I'm just going to go straight to a JPEG. Now something to note if this were 4k video or something it might be a little too big. You have two megabytes to work with on an upload to YouTube. But add fonts to resolve export. And now where I've saved that, I've got add font to resolve. And now I'm going to save add font to resolve to. Now when I go into YouTube studio and I'd like to add this to one of my videos, I can come in and upload a, f a thumbnail, go to my thumbnails and I can add font to resolve and boom. Now I immediately have a thumbnail. 
That's how I create thumbnails in DaVinci Resolve. I tend to use DaVinci Resolve if I'm going to take a screen capture out of a video or something, but more often I'll just use Designer from Affinity, which is another great program with a one-time fee rather than your monthly tax. Thanks for watching. If this has been helpful, feel free to buy me a coffee. The link is in the description of this video, just like that. And have a great day.